Hi, this is John with SysEng Quick. Today I'll show you how to install SaltStack on Debian Linux. The instructions are fairly similar on Red Hat, and in a later tutorial, we'll see how to install the Salt repo on a CentOS 7 machine as well. SaltStack is an infrastructure management tool. It's similar to Puppet, Chef, and Ansible. You can use Salt to execute commands on remote servers, ensure configuration consistency, and build entire machines from completely customizable templates. After we get Salt Stack installed, I'm going to work on a tutorial series that shows how to use it to completely rebuild the machine I'm working with right now. Open your web browser to the saltstack.com page, select Products, Salt OSS, Documentation. On this page, click on the Install Salt link. That will take you to the Salt repo page. Select your platform, in our case Debian. Then I'm going to go ahead and select PIN to major version. This will make sure we get security updates, but no major updates that might break our configuration. We'll need to follow the directions to install and configure the SALT repo. So first we'll go ahead and add the SALT key. Then we'll need to add this line to saltstack.list to install the repository. Now we just need to run apt-get update. Now we can install the packages. We're going to install salt master, salt minion, and salt ssh. You can see it's going to pull in some dependencies like Python. That's okay. Just go ahead and select yes. The salt master is where salt configuration lives and where most commands are executed. A master server controls other servers known as minions. The first minion will be the salt master itself. Salt SSH is used for servers that are not minions but that you still want to manage. It's useful in bootstrapping servers to become minions or in places where the overhead of a minion process would be problematic. Now we just need to configure the salt minion to know where the master is. We're going to edit the file etsy salt minion.d local.com. We're going to add the following two lines. Master is localhost and the ID is salt master. The ID is the identifier for this minion. We'll go ahead and save that file. We're going to remove the minion ID which is a file it creates if you don't explicitly define the minion ID and now we'll restart the salt minion. Finally, we just need to accept the salt key on the master. To do that, we can do sudo salt key dash capital L. That will show we have unaccepted keys. To accept one, we can say dash capital A and it will ask us if we want to accept all the keys. I'll go ahead and say yes. And there we go, we've accepted the salt master key. And now we can communicate with it using salt commands. So a basic salt command is the test.ping command. So I'm going to run that on all the minions. And you can see that salt master returned true. In other words, we do have configuration or communication path to our salt minion. So salt is the main command. This is specifying which minions to contact. In this case, I want all of them and test.ping is the execution module we're testing out. And that's how you install Salt on a Debian machine. Thanks for watching. See you next time.